Hi guys, Putin here with the game for you in my tier 10 US battleship, the Montana. Now this is my go-to ship when I'm having a rough day. My captain skills are priority target, jack of all trades, adrenaline rush, basics of survivability, basic fire training, advanced fire training, and of course concealment. My modules are protect my main batteries, longer shooting AA, American dispersion, Damcom 1, Damcom 2, and complete the stealth, more concealment. Now, this is a, kind of a special replay because uh, I believe this was the first game I played when I did join APOC, but more importantly, my good friend Lord Zath, who ha I have played with many games, has, uh, and I have uh, showed some replays where we were divisioned up, uh, is doing a YouTube channel also. Now, I gave him this replay uh, for for him to use and for myself. The reason I gave it to him is they have his thoughts and opinions on what I did, what I did, what I did right, what I did wrong. Now, we all know if I'm by C, I'm going to go to C. If I'm by A, I like to go by A. I get my guns trained on the Moscow, hoping that he's going to still stay sail broadside he still is so I'm going to take my shot in on him but unfortunately he's gonna turn out but I didn't aim high because this is a long distance shot and I'm looking for plunging fire but to get back on to Mr. Zath me er, me Zath and myself did a dual com for his channel of this gameplay so if you would like to check that out a link to his channel will be in the description, and if I ever learn how to do annotations or something during game, I will try to get one up uh, now for a couple of seconds. But if you guys could please go check out his channel, I know he would appreciate it, and he is a good friend of all three of us. Now, it looks like the Moskvas are going into a kiting position. Uh... Of course, we are all in voice cams, and the initial thing right now is not 100% sure where the destroyers were, static calls out, there's something else here in cap with me, which is why I turned out. Uh, you know, at this point, you know, there's about four or five ships over here, along with what static said, you know, something did initially stop him from capping, uh, so we're not 100% sure. If it, you know what it was, if the uh, destroyer, the Wuki reversing, but for whatever reason, something did uh, slow down the camp, which is why I went into a kiting position. These guys are kiting, I'm kiting, so it's long range shooting, which is what I hate. I, I cannot stand this long range game. Uh, any of you who play with me know that I swear an awful lot, and it, uh, and it, I consciously try not to swear in any of the replays. So when I do do it, that's how strongly I feel about it. And just to tell you how strongly I feel about long long range shooting. I fucking hate it. It's boring. It's passive. Uh, you're. Your damage is, uh, while it is still a little bit skill-based, it's really more or less luck because at this, you're dealing with your maximum dispersion, you're dealing with any small little movement, and the gentleman can negate most of your damage. He can also turn into your damage, you know, dispersion can work both ways. But, <clears throat> but I'd rather be, uh, I know the saying is I'd rather be lucky than good, but you're going to make your own luck. And the closer you are, the better and luckier you can possibly get instead of playing this long range thing. And to me, there are too many factors. And if you want to make your own luck, you want to eliminate as many factors as possible. Now, pay attention to this Moskva here because look where he is and he's reversing. And well, we're at A. I see this Moskva just pretty much sitting still. I shot at mid-ship because if he's going to reverse, hopefully these shells are going to come under our front guns and do some citadel damage. If he goes forward, it's pretty much prey. 
He's not using the engine modification as I get a Citadel because he's reversing. This Moscow has shown uh, uh, the one I just Citadel. I'm going to say little knowledge of the game. While he may have went into a kiting position, it could have been, well, I need to run and get the hell out of here. Now, I'm taking the shot, hoping this guy is going to just uh, mess up his reverse. Reverse out a little bit. The shells all come in mid, uh, midsection and potentially uh, Citadel. Him. I take these shots about where he is, hoping or thinking that uh, from the previous statement that he wasn't doing too much uh, intelligent gameplay that he was going to try to hide behind the island. I was sadly mistaken, and both of those salvos missed. But uh, this guy's still sailing broadside to a battleship, and it's just a matter of time before you are just outright punished by somebody. Uh, so, as you can see, somebody gets a nice hit on him. These shells are looking good. I just miscalculated his angle a little bit, but you know what? I still get some damage done to him. Now, the game plan is to let Robert do and his Henry go do Henry-type-like stuff because that ship, uh, most of the French ships uh, work very well alone working the flank. I'm here supporting Static, uh, and you know what? That was kind of the initial game plan, is that I would be backing up uh, Static. Static would be looking for torpedoes. I put my uh, fighter up because I'm not sure where that smoke cloud went to. And, you know, what what he's doing, what his torpedoes are doing. Sea Destroyer, I need to take him out because I don't want his equalizing lances to equalize me out at all. As I get, let's see, two pens and an over pen, but I take him out for his last 3,000 damage. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take a shot in on this mask bot because Bully's broadside and... Why not? What do battleships do? They, you know, equalize cruisers that decide to sit broadside like idiots. The only thing is, this is at range, so any little movement, uh, he can easily negate my shots. Now, <clears throat> now I am taking a very big risk going down this channel. Put my fighter up to see what it can see. There's the gearing. And, you know what, now I have to play did he launch his torps. I, I, I've got to play the... Um, uh, wait for his torps, and then luckily our carrier comes right over, spots the gearing torps. I know the gearing has like a minute and 30 reload. Obviously, some time has passed from when he launched, spotted. So I've got approximately one minute to get across this gap safely uh, for no retribution from the gearing. Now, luckily for us, with my messing around with speed, uh, Static goes, hey, I'm going to go in. I'm going to get this gearing spot. I keep your gun straight. And I'm like, 10 4, no problem. I'm trying to keep my gun straight center of the smoke screen or where I see this guy smooth, uh, shooting because, uh, you know what? I don't run expert marksman. Every little second counts. I do state this in Zad's video. This is perfect thing, old gearing. Knew he was going to pull out forward. Boom. Good night, Sally. Broke his engine, broke his ship. And ironically, Static was like, uh, what happened to the gearing? I go, American armor piercing shells. See the Iowa, well within Citadel uh, range. These, sh uh, these shells are going to have a lot of oomph, even though he is showing me angle. This is still broadside. This is still Citadel range uh, for the angle is showing me. Just because it's lowered doesn't mean you can't get Citadel as I take... The last 25,000 out of him. We're going to lose our Hindenburg to the Bismarck. And what I'm thinking at this point is, you know, uh, Static and whatever's in B is going to get B. I need to deal with the idiot that went to D. Now, we're legalized held because luckily for me, uh, I wasn't getting shot at too much at the start. Uh, due to positioning, due to their positioning. But I am turning broadside on purpose. I'm doing this because our shimmy has launched torps. I want this Bismarck's full attention on me. I don't want it to be on to torpedoes. 
He has the secondaries, which give him the advantage in this. I have the shimmy that gives me the advantage in this fight. He just doesn't know I have the shimmy. <coughs> I'm going to slow down, and I'm going to angle out as I get a nice 15,000 to a bow and Bismarck by shooting into his superstructure. But I'm going to do everything I can to keep this gentleman's uh, attention, and he eats one torp. Now, of course, he's got about two minutes to decide what he wants to do with the rest of whatever life he has left. But luckily for me, my guns are reloaded. This is plenty of a broadside as I get a nice 21,000. The Missouri shells come in just after mine as he finishes off the uh, Bismarck. Now, you know, the poor Bismarck had a decision to make, stay broadside, potentially deal with the Shimmy Torps, or go broadside to me and deal with just, well, what happened there. Unfortunately, all his decisions were wrong, just like going to D. <clears throat> now, you know what, if I did have a spotter, I could have potentially shot over the islands, but you know what, with... Uh, with my accuracy with the spotter plane it just absolutely sucks and I have gotten so used to just shooting over islands uh, knowing uh, just the ship icons where to place my reticle to potentially get one or two hits and again long range shooting I can't stand it but if that's all I could see I would have taken a shot now I shot at the Missouri at the last possible moment because I did not want to be full in, in the process of a turn uh, shooting at him where he could potentially get a citadel on me. Waited for him just to go dark. Take the shot. Unfortunately, I missed. Now, the Missouri has the same predicament, except the carrier's going to come in with his planes. He's got to angle against uh, either myself, the Missouri. Now, both of us are kind of in the same spot to where he can stay bow into us but if you know where to shoot you can still do the massive damages that showed in on the bismarck but why take the chance with rng i'm gonna shoot this mosque bow, and i have no idea what the hell this guy's doing because on my screen you can see the smokestack they're kind of reversed but they're maybe going forward i'm not sure it's long range i noticed too late this guy's just in full reverse, and I'm like, well, I blew that chance to just delete this guy. Torpedoes come in from the shimmy. Make the Missouri turn broadside for the friendly Missouri, and I don't know how this guy didn't get any citadels, but luckily the uh, shimmy did get some stuff. Now I'm trying to do everything I can to save our Missouri because I don't know if there's a potential... Ram coming into play as I do another 10,000 damage and pick up the Confederate. Save the Missouri's health for a little bit. I know this guy's not going to go forward. I'm not falling for this crap again, buddy. I know you're going to reverse, but now it's going to come down to whether RNG is going to bless me with long-range dispersion. And, well, considering I've told long-range shooting to go fuck itself, I'm sure you can figure out that it's not going to pay off here either. We get torps coming in from something. I don't know. Don't care. Need to turn in to avoid them. Uh, they're not from the Ibuki because, well, he's too far away. Or from that one. But I'm going to take a shot in on the Ibuki because that Moskva is just starting to piss me off. I know I can do citad uh, nice Citadel damage to the Ibuki no matter what angle he's at for the most part. As we lose our Donskoy to the Iowa. So what happens when you show broadside in pretty much any cruiser. But I, I took a shot in at the Buki because I was trying to get my head cleared for the Moskva who was upsetting me. Now, what I'm trying to do is get my front guns turned to deal with the Moskva when he pulls out. But also keep my rear guns to where they can deal with... Uh, Getting back on target on the other guys, which is why you saw me look, 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 uh, look right, look left, look right, look left. I'm trying to keep my rear guns 
uh, facing to to the right here. Finally, get my Citadel. I've been praying for all game on that gentleman. And not only did I break his engine again, I broke his ship just like with the gearing. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, you know, the shimmy's at the, you know, good call on him. He's probably thinking I'm going to cap C. We're going to wrap this up real quickly, but I'm sitting on four kills and I'm feeling greedy. Normally, I would probably just cap this out, but it's, uh, you know, it's 4v2. We have the ship advantage and we also have the carrier. So I'm like, screw it, I'm going for it, you know. Those guys are running away. Luckily for me, the Iowa decides to shoot, and this guy decides to run. He decides to angle, which is good, but what he should have done was, instead of taking those shots, go bow into me and fight. You're going to get more experience fighting, doing damage, taking potential damage, than running away. Your repair bill is the exact same on no matter how much health you have. You pay for your ship's cost at the start of the battle. The only thing that changes is how much ammo you use. And that's just your <coughs> just your primary guns. Sorry about that. Uh, little voice crackling. See the Ibuki. Now, I'm aiming a little bit behind because uh, most Japanese cruisers have a very easy citadel to hit in the rear end of the ship, as you can see, all of that. Pull my plane up, want to spot his planes, being greedy, turning to get my rare turrets into play on the Sabuki. Notice this guy turned uh, uh, back in, back out, like he dropped his torpedoes. This turn saved my life, easily avoid these torpedoes, get my Kraken unleashed, and I'm going to sight in on the Iowa. And as soon as I take these shots in on the Iowa, this is pretty much game over. There's nothing they can do to come back and win. As you can see, the score quickly going up. So now it's time for the post-battle results. 186,000 damage, Confederate Kraken unleashed. And with the five ships I sent to the bottom of the sea, number one on the on a team with base experience of 2,500. I think I did a very good job of uh, helping this team to victory. Here's the money screen for the people that enjoy that. 185,000 damage, all of that AP, all of that uh, from my main batteries. One shell hit for 300 damage, yay. My potential damage is a little bit on the low side at 1.1 million. Uh, I do like to be at 1.5, but at least I'm in the millions. I felt like I wasn't completely useless at the beginning. Uh, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. And like I said, again, please go check out Lord Zath's channel. Uh, you will see us doing a dual com over this replay. Uh, along with, uh, you know, his thoughts and stuff like that. Please remember to uh, compliment good teamwork, good team play. We are quick to report, slow to compliment. We appreciate all the support you guys give us. We do love the replays you guys send in. The email for that is in the description down below. And with that note, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. And have yourselves one heck of a great day.